if a pie has four pieces and Tim wants to have eight pieces of pie, how wide will Tim's shadow be after eating eight pieces of pie? What? I I'm lost here. <laughs> oh, these cupcakes are at the top of their class. We are going to go from this to this, starting with our candy. I wanted to tell you that I have two different options here for candy. This one is a peanut butter one, and this one is a caramel one. You can choose the one you like, or you can mix it up and have a little bit of both of them. Uh, some people are allergic to peanut butter and some people aren't, so if you mix it up, then they'll have some choices. Uh, we also have this, this is basically like edible, paper is made out of fondant so it's totally edible and we ha it's a Wilton sheet for decorating paper you can use a pair of scissors and just cut it down ahead of time before you start decorating and have a pile of them ready to go and you can have different sizes depending on the size of your candy and here I have these little candies here they are miniature M&Ms that we can use. I've already set up my bag with my favorite frosting and my tip 1M. And we're just gonna make a little swirl on here. There we go. And now I have my chocolate in this bag. So I'm gonna put a little dot on here. Put my little mortar board on. I've already kind of like looked at my candies and decided where the front of them is because everything that you do, whether it's a cupcake, a cake, candy, it has kind of like a front and a back. I usually, like if there's a flaw, I put it in the back. <laughs> so that's that part. Now I'm going to put a little bit uh, more of my frosting on here. Put my little m, &M. I usually hide the M underneath it, so I just kind of like flip it over so the M's underneath. And now I'm going to get some fondant out. So I have some yellow fondant and I have some gum paste and I'm going to mix them together and that way this will be able to dry a little bit hard and firm. Just be that much stronger because it's mixed with gum paste. It doesn't take very much of this stuff. So I'm going to make it into some little balls here, depending on how many you need, just make it into little balls. All I need really is one of them, but I'm just showing you what I would do if I was preparing to make several cupcakes. So you would just keep making these little balls. There we go. Now, for this particular one, I'm going to start rolling this and do like a little snake. And as you can see, like one side's thinner and one side's a little thicker. And now I'm going to flatten this part. Always make it thinner than what you think because people have a tendency to make it too thick a lot of times. And this is going to be our tassel when it's done. So now I am ready to cut this with a fine sharp pair of scissors. And this is just going to make my little tassels. It seems that three is pretty good. If I get too ambitious, sometimes it starts falling apart. And uh, don't feel bad if this takes a little practice to get this. And every now and again, one of them will fall apart. So just give yourself some time like to do this. like little chicken feet. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, give you, don't, don't hurry yourself. Give yourself a little bit of time to, to do this. And now I'm gonna put a little bit of water on this and that's my glue. Don't get too crazy with the water. Less is more when it comes to fondant, when it comes to the water that glues things. And then I'm just gonna stick this on here and kind of like bend it over the side. And that's my tassel. And then I can stick it on here and we are ready to go. I hope we edit out my singing. <laughs> we'll put this one to the head of the class. 
That is really cool, Dana. <laughs> awesome. Um, Jay, do you think you could put this cookie for me? Thank oh, you. okay, sure. Yeah, you know, problem. Okay, so the area of the cookie is actually pi radius squared. So this area equals 3.14. Uh, maybe I better get my cookie back. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> uh, I think that that's a two inches radius. Well, that's just, it was four. <laughs> but well, <laughs> the diameter I guess is four inches. And okay, go ahead. Mm. I'm sorry. Do you want the cookie back? <laughs> nah, you can have it. <laughs>